How does, how does he respond today to the exertion and any hit he might take? Well, he, he started his career at UCF, transferred. Has not thrown a pick this season, takes care of the football. Gabriel across the middle and a nice delivery in stride and a broken tackle across midfield. Down to the 30. So far, so good. Play fake, Gabriel throwing again and another completion across the middle. Excellent sentiment, bad for a play-by-play -play broadcaster. Gabriel's going to carry, and Gabriel inside the 10 does take a little bit of a hit. The quarterback doing practice. Throws that one quickly, and it's complete inside the five for an Oklahoma first down. This is Gabriel, and touchdown, Oklahoma. That's the freshman Barnes play. And they desperately need a win. Now their offense looks totally rejuvenated. Had they been normal, this would be your typical homecoming game, right? Gabriel that completes throw. that one to Braden. Beginning of the year. Now they got a ranked Kansas team they're facing. Another completion for Gabriel, this time Farouk. Well, they just switched up on the back end. Gabriel delivers another completion. And off. They won't need a couple downs. They'll get the first down and much more Gray to the outside, then cut it back in all the way down inside the 10. You go back to Gray's run. Just watch how quickly he's able to just change direction and so explosively get down the field. They got a big game today, that's for sure. That completion inside the five. Texas had a little bit to do with that. Now Gray straight ahead. Touchdown, Oklahoma. They do love those direct snap plays. Eric Gray takes it in, two drives, and two trips to the end zone for the Sooners. I tell you, though, Gray was so patient. He waited for the big block in the middle to happen. Watch as the tight end comes across. But yeah. He's like me with the uh, uniform numbers. Pass off to the left side, and Marvin Mims gets. They got no shot at it. Gabriel on third down throws and that pass is caught. Drake Stoops hangs on despite taking a hit and having the ball ripped at. I mean Drake has really turned into a good player. Yeah. He's an important part of this team across the middle and another completion after Gabriel really just kind of dropped the ball. Beans passes batted away. Bean hands it off left side and again Oklahoma was there. Are they coming or not showing pressure. Are they for real. They did bring pressure. Bean throws over the middle and it's almost intercepted knocked away. Almost picked off by Key Lawrence. Key Lawrence said you fooled me once. You were able to get that ball in earlier. Not this time. Hanging back in the middle, he says, I will not be split. I will recognize that I got to close and help. And he should have had a pick there. All right, Sooners back on the field and a little end around kind of action to Drake Stoops. Play fake, no, handoff and a nice pull. Now Oklahoma with the ball and their offense is moving and when they aren't turning it over, Play fake. Gabriel in the pocket. Gabriel going deep. Left sideline and caught. What a catch. By yeah, that's that's not Drake Stoops. That's Gavin Freeman, who's a true freshman, who started to play some more snaps. He may be playing more after that catch. Yeah, the way he laid out and got that one. The fans started to do the Stoops thing. That, that's not Drake. Little direct snap. Boom. Touchdown, Oklahoma. His second of the game already. Touchdown was set up by the tremendous catch by Gavin Freeman. And you see the split receivers there and the safety corner there actually confused as to where he should go. He was in a tough position. And then Freeman laid out with a great, great catch. And that set up the easy run. Look at the great block in the middle. But their defense is really good. So pretty impressive to shut out Texas even for a quarter. <laughs> a lot okay. to be cranky about. Uh, I, I, I'm not blaming him for any of those. Bean option. He'll pitch it. And Neal this time is shoved out of bounds. Ends up in a pretty standard, standard formation. Play fake. Bean. Bean trying to scramble. Jason Bean takes a big hit on the sideline. Got knocked out of bounds after a gain of maybe four. Is that Robert Spears Jenny? I think that was three.
Yeah, he's the freshman. They <laughs> really like him. Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Ted Roof said, well, he gave him some snaps and he went in there and he threw his body around just by default because yep. we get some of those head to head matchups. Kansas throw and what a play. And was that intercepted? It was. Oh my goodness. CJ Colden with one of the plays of the year. Wow, what an interception. That was incredible. He had a man behind him wide open. He's in the short zone area and just shows you his ability to get up. And this ball needed to be thrown with more air, drop it over his head and in front of the safety. But instead, who really has played pretty well for the Sooners. Oklahoma gets the ball back, a little pitch play, and outside the 40 for a nice first down. And he'll empty the backfield. Dylan Gabriel in the pocket. Gabriel now scrambling. Gabriel's going to run. He'll get the first down, go into a slide. Get the third down. Gabriel hands it off and a nice cut for a first down and more. Eric Gray has done some excellent running in this first half. He broke ankles in the middle of a crowd. He sent two Kansas players to their knees. Watch this move in here. Two of them to their knees trying to make a tackle. Then made another good move at the end of the play. Barnes comes in and they'll give it to Barnes. He breaks more tackles. Bounces outside inside the 25. They're outstanding defensive end. The only time we've said his name is when you've said we haven't said his name. Touchdown Oklahoma. Theo Weiss wide open. Very professional handshake at the end of yeah. that connection. Well, something a little different. It's a pump fake. Looks like the double move. On second down. Play fake. That's the option play, but Oklahoma was ready for it. Yeah. Being pressured and goes down. David Aguebu came right up the middle and got to Jason Bean. Good disguise, good confusion. They brought a linebacker inside. The offensive line was preoccupied with that. And Aguebu had a clear path to the quarterback. Watch this. You'll see more pressure inside. There's a twist, and there he is. The offensive line was more concerned with picking up the twist, didn't account for Aguebu. <laughs> I, I, I'm still trying to wrap my head around that one. Is, is it a three headed goat or the greatest of all time. Gabriel across the middle and that pass is caught. Mims went down to scoop it up another Oklahoma first down and they're threatening again right away. How good is that. That's like a shortstop. Picking one up perfectly. And Marvin Mims 34 yards from Gabriel. How good is that. That's saving your quarterback with that too high safety look. And off a huge monstrous hole. There he goes to the 10 to the 5 touchdown. And no penalty flags on the field. Just give it to Eric Gray. He'll do it again. Didn't you just say it was only delayed momentarily? I thought it was going to take an extra minute. It yeah. took an extra 10 seconds. Yeah, I tell you. Talk about domination up front that offensive line created such big holes you could drive a truck through it and then the cutback my goodness unstoppable this is really really yeah. conservative and they hand it off and get a nice gain out into the open field to midfield to the 45 to the 40 and inside the 40 so the big run when I think just about everybody knew that's what was coming. Another huge play from Eric Gray and now the Sooners I think would be wishing that they had that time back. Yeah. Yeah. They, they probably lost a good 40 seconds there. <laughs> Oklahoma. It's called their first time out of the half. And maybe they're so explosive they're going to make up for it. But I just <laughs> didn't get that at all. Uh, I, I think they were worried about what would happen not making it. But you see a good block inside making sure that they take care of Barry Hill coming over. 
so that he couldn't make the play. But you're right. Yeah, that's, that's 35, 40 seconds. They could have saved. I mean, on first down, Gabriel is going to throw middle, and that pass is caught across the middle. And the tackle at about the 20. Inside the 10 line, 10 yard line. Amazing. They will throw it with a couple blockers ahead. The cut inside, diving for the pylon, and the signal is short. Fortunately for OU, no more than that. The OU almost jumped off sides, and then the ball batted down. Attempting to hit Neal. Deshaun White was coming in pressure, and he got his hands on the ball. Good defensive set for Oklahoma. They get the third and long that they've been looking for. Now, can Kansas protect Jason Bean? Third and eight. Just a four-man rush. Bean delivers, and that one's intercepted. Intercepted by White. What a back-to-back -back sequence for Deshaun White. He knocked one pass down, and then the very next pass, he picks it off. Uh, he was sitting in a short zone and just reading Bean's eyes. Watched him from the start. And he just waited and waited and waited. Never took his eyes off of him and knew exactly where that ball was going. Did he bait him? Absolutely. Wow. They've had a lot of good offensive teams since then. Play fake. Gabriel across the middle. Another perfect pass. And off left side, bouncing it, Eric Gray. And he'll get tackled across the 20, 12 a, a rush. He'll get it here, and he gets through the middle for an OU first down. They'll do a little picket fence, try to see the quarterback and the receiver simultaneously. Gabriel from the pocket throws, and it's caught right at the goal line with the big hit. Gabriel not under center like at the end of the first half. He's in the shotgun. And he keeps it. Gabriel stretches. A helmet flies off. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Lorenzo McCaskill, the headbutt after the play. But this again, this was the play they wanted to run. Look, you and I were in Lubbock. We saw Texas Tech take down Texas. Run play on first down for the Sooners. Second down for OU. And the little swing pass out to Marvin Mims. Another Sooners first down. Wanya Morris committed the penalty that was declined. The sack stands. Second down and long. And the Sooners get that. Third and five. Gabriel. Wide open. Right sideline. First down and much more into Kansas territory. That's making it easy. Yeah. That's too offense. easy. First down. Left side handoff. I can't guarantee you if you come here, we want you, but I can't guarantee you you're going to have the job. That pass complete along the sideline, Willis, and he got in. Touchdown. He stayed in bounds. What a play by Braden Willis. Another. Oklahoma receiver. You know, there was a lot of rumbling about every part of this Oklahoma team. It was so ugly last week. Being on the move, looking downfield, just kind of heaves it down there. Jared Casey, the tight end, came in motion. Handoff and a big Hello. open field tackle for OU. Hello. Key Lawrence again. Man, he's oh, he has had a day. You know, we talked about all the missed tackles that Oklahoma's had. You're not missing that one. Head up when he goes low. Keeps his head up. Might not have been as pretty for Texas. Drake Stoops gets his hand. Run for 300 and in the game. Eric Gray with the carry. Gray cuts it upfield. And that's the smart way to play it. There's a handoff Barnes. Got hit at the 40. It is not what they normally like to do. Second and six. Out to the 45. It'll be, well, I've said 45. Old clip of Kansas the last time they beat Oklahoma. 
Gabriel swings that one out to the right side. Gray with the catch and run, and Gray. Third and two, straight ahead. First down, Sooners. He's that type of guy, and that's what sets him apart. Left side run, and Javante Barnes, who's tough to bring down in his own right. And that just that's just the right way to do it. Good cut to get the first down that we just threw up there. Mm, missed it. 16 of 19, Oklahoma. Gabriel, yeah. You know, he, he brought in, what, 12 guys or so? Transfer portal? Which isn't a tiny number. 37-yard yeah. field goal try, and it's up and good. Gabriel keeps it, and Gabriel will get a first down and more. Yeah. Goes down inside the 30. But the win, getting back on the right track, is is a really big thing for Oklahoma. Oh, maybe only one yard loss there, Rod. Could be they stay over 700 for the game. No matter what it is, they can celebrate a good win. And I think the final score undersells how well the Sooners played.